So do, do you need someone who's familiar with the game to be the game master on this one, or can Ben give it a try again? You can try again. It's just like, because the problem is, you're supposed to, the lever's supposed to go down, and only when your hand is closed. But when we were converting the um, OSC, it somehow lost that information, so. Yeah. <laughs> so just, just keep, the way to do it is it's don't worry about your close hand, just go over it and just go back and forth, basically. That so don't sense. worry about closing my hand. Yes. I can do it. Just like, you can put it over and it won't go down. All right. You want to run the, the game on this one and make the build on the other one. So build. Yes. You have to make a brand new build. Does anyone else want to try? Well, to run the projectors. I saw Alex really wanted to. Oh, nice. You see that face? <laughs>
Alright. One, two, three, jump. Oh my gosh. I just like can't get the timing right. Alright. Yep. Oh. I'm just gonna try it. Oh, okay. okay. I made a jump for it. I'm just gonna jump. Oh. Oh. Um, you used me as a what? Oh, I like dying. I'm sorry. Here. Discussion. <coughs> All right, players, comments. Uh, hmm. Stone, can you, know, you turn that one off? Glitches, I think this would be an amazing game. Like, and it already is an amazing game. Like, even without all the animations working and everything, like, and the screen being behind, you can still use the other screen, and it doesn't really change the dynamic at all because. Um, you're looking at basically the same thing, right? Like this screen and that screen were the same. Um, it was supposed to be the zoom zoom yeah, right. version, so you would need to be able to navigate them because they can't. Got see you. Them. That direction makes more sense now. Okay. And that way, so when they're flipped, so it gets kind of confusing because you can't see the whole screen. You'd be able to see, look, and see it right side up on the other. So that was the purpose of the two flip screens. So that when you were upside down, you could see one screen and feel like you're right side up. So like the connect person has like the overview of the entire maze, but the player themselves has a much smaller version, so they don't know like where to be flipped, like where they have to stand to be flipped. Um, which is much that's why we have two pointers. Is one is for the lever and one was the for the pointer. So like if you were to close your hand, it makes a little ripple effect saying, Hey, stand here kind of thing, but we never got around to it, so Okay. Okay, who else was playing? You got the chance to play, right Jeff? Oh, you made the game, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed this. Um, I had fun playing it. I had fun watching it, too. I liked the kind of use of these two screens. Um, it was kind of disorienting, sort of a what's up, what's down sort of sensation where, like, yeah, I was looking at this one, and this one felt very upright, and that one felt backwards um, as a spectator, but I like the collaborative effort. I mean, it was just little tiny things that you know, they're like nitpicks. The controls felt a little bit on the sensitive side where you'd accidentally push people off. But <laughs> the respond, like, the respond time is so fast, and I don't know, it, like, it didn't ruin the experience for me, so. Yeah, and I, uh, I feel like just the word I'd use to describe this game, it's just, it's just nice, you know? Yeah. Like, um, just, like, all the artwork is, like, very nice. It, it feels like kind of like a relaxing, you know, it's like flash game that you could play. Obviously, it's a little bit more complicated with that. It's kind of cool with the connect. You have to kind of rely on somebody somebody else outside, so it's always kind of interesting because you really have to react to what somebody else is doing and there's only so much control you have over yourself, which I kind of like. But yeah, I mean, all the art is really nice and I'm sure everyone knows there's a couple bugs, but those can be patched out at really any point. But yeah, I think it's a, I think what we were thinking, we just wish there were just more levels because yeah. you would like to play more. Yeah I, was, yeah, I was saying that if there were more levels, I would definitely um, keep on playing. I would. Honestly, play it again until like it just becomes easy because it's just a game that's very replayable. I loved the art, little figures. It's like something you want on a shirt. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just I thought it was fantastic overall. It was a great use of the connect and like teamwork. And it's some it's a game that would just be fun and you're able to play over and over again. And it'd be so cool to have more levels as well, just because it was a bit short. But time restraint wise, that's perfectly understandable. With your comment about. Um you want to play again and again. I think this would like once you fix the bugs, it's 
really beautiful and really clean, and I think it'd make a really great app on your phone. Yeah. yeah. Like something yeah. you definitely like when you're waiting to pull out, you definitely get addicted and keep playing and switch it. Yes, yeah, switch another example. Yeah, thank you. I love this. Yeah, I love it. Excellent. Fun. Alex, did you have anything to add? I thought more than. My game, at least, argued that the like team aspect made a lot of sense, which I know we had a lot of hard time thinking about how the interaction of teamwork was really going to work, and if you could understand the team relationship and like going against people. But your collaborate collaborative effort in the group was really fun because I had to work with Tommy. I couldn't push him off the side. That actually like stopped the game. So more. <laughs> Each person's interaction really affected mine, and my interaction really affected theirs, which I thought was like an extremely hard task to understand. So I thought you guys did a good job about the, the teamwork, especially. Cool, thank you. Do we have anything from the other non-player spectators and non-player observers? Any obser observations that you could offer share? I do. I do definitely agree with all the comments saying that it just looks very, very polished. Like, one, like, bug, you know, find the magic bullet for the bugs away from having, like, a super duper, like, beautiful looking game that was really fun to play. Like, it seemed, it seemed like everybody was, like, you know, working on the thing they had to work on together. And uh, since it takes a, a fair bit of, you know, communication, the fact that, uh, they weren't doing that made it super fun to watch because you know people die and you know the <laughs> little guys push each other off. It was a. I tried. They still die. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? All you can do is push the switch and they're just working against you, hurting cats. <laughs> I thought it was super cool. All right. I think what's really cool about it is, and I think this was already mentioned, that it's it's so much fun to play, but it's also so much fun to watch. Like it's it's fun to play, but you would also like go to a game like gaming channel or whatever, you could just watch them play for hours. So I think having both those aspects as well is like really awesome. The one thing that's really cool about this is that there's actually more than one way to beat the level, depending on where the platforms are. Because you can walk under it, get under it, or you can turn it on and then turn it back off so they can just like jump right on top. If you're, if you're super quick on the switch, there's a lot of ways to yeah. Yeah, you can rely on get that timing right You can either rely on your, your, on your sprite guys to be really good at like positioning I'd love to see this as a single player game where it's like each level is a different element. So you've got your like water, fire, and you know, little earth and wind elements, and then like each level you would collect multiple gems by flipping up and up and down. Each level would be different and like feature around whatever the player is. It's just I think the animations are super super cute, and it just would be neat to see more of them. If you wanted to build it out, I would really like to see like, the idea of your hand moving up uh, a lever built out to the rest of the you know, frame around the level. So, you know, switches and knobs and all kinds of different things that yeah. you know, could be affected. That would be like it's a computer oh, screen. Exactly. Like you know, control panels. Control panels. What stuff you can do with that? Um, actually, we eventually, I don't know if you noticed, there's like steam in the background. Mm -hmm. It was actually another element we had in game that unfortunately got scrapped. It was where if the fire and water player uh, stood close enough and pressed a button, they would turn into steam and get through oh, narrow areas. Um, and I think they we were actually at each other and turn. Yeah, and then we would have the connect player be able to guide them through oh. Oh, the cool. steam, but Yeah, I can only look up where